In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SVN versions of DOSBox using Defend Reloaded. First, you go to Program Options. Then go to DOSBox under External Programs. Then add a different DOSBox installation. Open up the dosbox.com file. There are lots of different options here, many of which are not set up in Defend Reloaded. To be able to use these options, you switch your mode to Advanced. Then you go to Default Values under the Profile Editor. For instance, if you wish to add Direct3D, you can type Direct3D under DOSBox Render. If you want to add another normal scaler, you can add it here. A good way to make DOSBox fill your screen with scaling is to use Force 5x scaling. You do this by adding forced to the end of the scalar name in the parentheses. To use the new installation, you change it under DOSBox settings. You can unlock some additional settings in the Profile Editor by going to DOSBox CVS Settings. And in case you're wondering, Innovation SSI 2001 is a Commodore 64 SID chip for PC, used in a handful of games to play the C64 music from those games on PC. As an example, I'll check Activate Pixel Shader Settings. The Pixel Shader will now show up in the editor. One final thing to note. You might want to use a setting like this Dead Zone setting, which is a newer setting for DOSBox. Unfortunately, there is no setting for this in Defend Reloaded. So, if you want to add it in Defend Reloaded, you'll have to add it to Custom Settings under DOSBox Settings. Just type it in here and it will be added to your configuration when you start DOSBox.
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and see you next time.